You're reasonably well known. <laughs> yeah. Tell me your story, Antoine. Well, obviously, I need everybody to have their kids, have their wife, and have their husbands too, because I'm suing everybody who owe me some money. Just plain and simple. Yeah. I'm Antoine Dossett, and I did the Had Your Kids video back in 2010. I made yeah. you famous. That's why he's well known. Oh my you God. You made him famous. Yes. No, she did not I make me famous. famous. And That's I am why judged. he's well known. Your Honor, I am so sick and tired of my family saying that. They say that all the time. Every time we get into an argument when it's about money or finances, it's, oh, I made you famous. It was me. I'm the victim. And I'm just so tired of carrying this victim title. It's, it's, I am the victim. The whole world know I'm the reason you're famous. Do we need to play the anyway, video Your clip? Honor, what? Like, I, Come on now. Know. Okay, so oh, let's take accident. a look. Let's take a look at this video. <laughs> Kelly Dodson was asleep with her little girl inside their apartment when so I was attacked by some idiot from out here in the projects. Dodson says her attacker used a garbage can to climb onto the unit's ledge, open the upstairs window, and then he got in bed with her. He, he tried to rape me. He tried to pull my clothes off. Dodson struggled with her attacker, knocking over items in her bedroom. Antoine Dodson heard his sister scream and ran to help. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they raping everybody out here. The attacker got loose and went out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. We got your t-shirt, you done left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Dodson's story ran that night on WAFF 48 News. Within minutes, it became a viral internet sensation, taking over popular sites like Facebook and YouTube. So how does Dodson feel about his newfound fame? I know, and I am so glad because I feel like I belong on somebody's TV. Okay. Well, you was on there because of me. Okay. You're welcome. No. I, I want him to, like, put on my shoe for once. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I've been through these last 11 years. Since this attack, all it's been is Antoine this, Antoine that. Even when I'm, when, when we're together, we go out in public, we can't even sit down and enjoy our meals or whatnot because why? People want to take pictures with Antoine, Antoine. It's all about Antoine. What about me? I'm the victim. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like the, I'm the victim because it's all, it's always about Antoine. Well, how's Antoine doing? He's fine. He's living. He's not the victim. He, he didn't get hurt. He's making money. And I Because that's it what to he loves. No, I just okay. Get but let's say this, you did a good thing. You helped save your sister. From yes, a, a and I pay for situation. everything about them. Anytime okay. they need money, I'm always there. Well, uh, tell me about that. Well, it started uh, when she called me and asked me to take her to the gas station uh, on university. And I Why said, did you want to go to the gas station? Because, well, her boyfriend was in jail at the time. Yeah. And she wanted to pick some money up from his family. And so I but, agreed, and I took her to the well, gas station. Why do you get money at a gas station? Because that's where the meetup point, we was a great distance apart from each other. So we... Oh, it was just a meeting point. Yeah, uh, yes. She okay. was bringing money, uh, she was picking up money from one of his relatives. Yeah. To get him out of jail. Oh, okay. Yes. So you drove her there. Yes. What happened at the gas station? That's all I want to hear right now. So when we get there, you know, she get out the car and she going to the gas station. So I'm in the car by myself. I'm vibing. I'm listening to my music. You're vibing. Yeah, I'm vibing. I'm listening to my music and yeah. I'm scrolling on Facebook on my phone. We are just alike. I'm, yeah, right. So <laughs> remind you, I'm the only car at this gas station. We. You don't look like a car. <laughs> well, I was actually in a truck. Yeah. So right across the street is the project apartments. Like, everybody be out in that area. Yeah. So when she went into the gas station, all of a sudden, like, 10 squad cars blocked me in at the gas station. So now I'm freaking out. I'm like, what is, is this first 48? Like, what's going on? I'm thinking it's a crime somewhere. But they all block my car in and they point guns at me and my car telling me oh. to get out the car, get on the ground, this and the other. And my sister's in the gas station, so I'm freaking out. Remind you, I'm a CDL driver and I got my sub license. A, a I'm commercial very truck driver? Or? Yes. Yeah. I'm very well respected in this community. Everybody knows who I am. So to go to jail, your honor, they drug me out of that car, put me on the ground, searched okay. me. They took all my... I had just came back from a trip, so I had all my stuff packed. They tore up my glove compartment. They tore up everything in my car all over the place. It was all in the street. They had all the people from the projects what? coming to the uh, gas station and everybody looking like this. Some what show. has that to do with your sister? 
That could because why would you pick me in the situation? Come to find out that she was selling I drugs mean, and stuff, and she ended up going to jail because when she walked out that gas station, they put her in cuffs and took her to jail. And oh. then the police came to me and asked and, him to do a video. And the police, you sure did. I did because I do right. whatever it takes to not go to jail because I have a career. We did all go down. All about but you. your honor, I'm gonna tell you how I even winded up asking him for a ride. I shouldn't even call him and ask him for it. I should have asked one of my other brothers for a ride. Yeah. Maybe you should have. Yeah, I should have. Anyways, I, I was staying at a hotel at yeah. the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the dude that I was dealing with. So the narcotics wind up running into my room and kicking our dough in or whatnot. He's, he gets arrested. To keep me from getting arrested, they want me to snitch. I'm not going to go on with it because I'm not going to get killed out here in these snitch. I don't snitch on no one. I see. So because I did not do what they wanted me to do, Four days later, they caught me at the gas station because I called my brother and asked my brother, could he come and take me somewhere because I, need, I needed a oh, ride. Stop 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 I don't care what I was doing. It don't matter, but you should have said Anyway, I called him for a ride because he was the only one with a vehicle at the time. The police came to me and he said, sir, you out here selling drugs with your sister, y'all making drug sales at a gas station. I said, Your Honor, I came up here to get some money to bail somebody out of jail. I don't have nothing to do with no drugs or none of that. That's not my lifestyle. That's yeah. not my avenue of the hood. I don't yeah. sell drugs. I got a child that I got to look after, and she do too. Well, I'm so in a what, cop car. You sitting out there laughing and making videos with them. You were making videos <laughs> with so, the cops? Your Honor, the, the cops knew who I was when yes. we came on scene. They was like, Antoine, do you want to do a little video? After they explained to me that, they was, that I could possibly go to jail, and stuff like that. So I'm like, if I do a video, this is my way out. You know what I'm saying? I won't have to go to jail, you know what I'm saying, for something that I didn't do. You should say yeah. if you do a so video, you are you going to you you let my sister go? Whatever it takes to get out of jail, that's yeah. what I did. And, and we that's laughed not a little cool. bit. They, they, they that's not even cool or funny yeah. to make a video so while I'm in the back down. of the police car. You out here hee hee ha with the police. Oh, so you were making these videos while she's sitting in the police car. While she was in the police car. Alright, ma'am, sir, we both cannot speak at the same so you went, went there to get money. Now, why are you suing her? Because when she went to jail, her bond was $500. My sister came up with $250, and I came up with $250 for her bond. But as time went on, I was putting money on her books, which equal to $500. Yeah, but you are suing her for $750 yes. because you're saying you paid $250 bail to yes. get her out of jail. Right. And you put $500 on her books while yeah. she was in jail. Every week, Your Honor, you get on that phone and call my number, collect, which I should be charging you for that. Yeah. But I'm not asking for no, that money. All right. You yeah. call me, collect, and you, brother, all this crying, oh, I'm going to change my life. I'm a different person. Sitting behind these bars is making me think about my life. And when I and get it out, it was. I promise you, I'm going to give you your $750 back. This was a verbal agreement. Had she just said, just uh, give me the money, I wouldn't even be here today. But this was a deal, and this was a verbal agreement. Give me I never my money. Told you I, I, was gonna give, I can say I, never I want my money. I but when she went to jail, I was pay you back. It was a gift. It's not a loan, however you want to put it. Man. If I knew he was going to be acting like this and trying to sue me for all this, I would have never asked him for anything because, therefore, I can pick up, I could bring up a lot of stuff I didn't did for him, and I, I done done his hair before he cut it. I did his child hair before. I also cook you what? Chicken all the time, chicken out Friday, all that stuff. I come over your house and do all that. So if, if we want to sue, then let's, I'm going to sue you for everything I done done for you too. You put a couple of hundreds on my books. You couple think that's cool? Oh. Yeah, you put a couple of hundreds on my book, and you weren't the only one because all my siblings pitched in to help buy me. But out. I picked up the most money when it you, all was down. And that's y cool. You're the oldest siblings. I mean, Maybe my why, point. why wouldn't you want to help your point. sister? That's what family do. Your Honor, she's bringing up all this other stuff. Your Honor, I can bring up stuff too. How long were you in jail for? Three months. For three months. I stayed in jail for three months. Okay. Did you guys get along before this? Oh, yes. We were close. We was born. And, uh, we were only a couple of years apart. We are my mama's first kid, so yeah. I, I love my sister. It's not that I don't love my sister, but we made, you told me on that phone. I even had to take a collect call, y'all, and I could be sore for that too. Okay, but when she's called you, hey brother, I need help, and while she's in jail, you can understand why Child, the been sister years that and you it's been love, all about him. in that kind of a situation, people say all kinds of things, and maybe, not to excuse her breaking of the law, but just as a sister, you would try to make life a little bit easier for her. So, hey, ma'am, this isn't just can I have some money because I want to go and buy something. This is 
I'm going to jail, please help. You don't exactly. then sit there and start negotiating alone. You just yes, say. Yes, you do. No. You see what I mean, Jerry? Yes, it's do. all it's it's all about really him. Do. Like he think he know everything. No, it's not that I know everything, Your Honor. It's just a simple fact. Like, what people don't understand, this is repetition. This is over and over, over. This is not her first time. This is not my first time. I'm not suing you for all other time. I'm suing you for this specific one. Because the thing is, Kelly's doing well now. Kelly has a career, uh, a good job. Her boyfriend have a good job. They all on Facebook with new Air Maxes and all kind of J's and stuff. You doing all that. And you that, gonna go and, ahead and, and run that's the mama. reason why you're bringing you're this all, money situation up. But if that, that was the case, I could, I could sue you for a lot too, Antoine. You, you ball out more than I ball out. I'm posting air messages because I, I work for, for that. I but work I for that. I go and talk to me and it works every day. I don't ask you to buy me out of jail. Day. I don't do stupid stuff that's going to financially cost me. Just go ahead and give me my $750 okay. while you balling. Right. So I'm going about my way. I'm not balling. I'm just living life. Right. That's so you're going to live this life and give me my money. Okay. You guys are family. A lot of turmoil is going on. Oh, there's turmoil in every family, okay? In the end, you could win this suit, but you ruin a relationship with your loving sister. <laughs> but I got it's my not money. worth it. Exactly. Okay. The background of the story is you guys have had issues. She was attacked, which is worse than anything else that is going on here. You did the right thing and stepped in to help her. That's right. That's what a brother does. So good for you on that. Now, on the $750, here's how I see it. First, on the $250 that you're asking to be paid back for the bail, I'm not going to give you that. And the reason I'm not going to give you that is because if a family member is in real trouble, you step up. So I'm not going to have her pay you back the $250 that you nicely put out. That was a good thing to do. On the $500 that he put on the books, I think you two should split it, and I'll tell you why. You're an adult, and you made some decisions. I'm not going to argue with you on the decision that you made. I'm not going to snitch. I'm going to jail for three months. And as an adult, when you make decisions, you pay the consequences for them. You can't put that burden on him. And so therefore, I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $250. Thank you, guys. On a separate note, I'm sorry you went through all that. I really am. So uh, good luck to you. I'm better now. Thank you, dear. Good. Good. I think I, I, I deserve 50% off everything that he makes, period, because I helped him get to where he's at now. I feel like Kelly's decisions was very dumb. She is a grown woman. We all in our 30s. We know when you know better, you do better. Just that simple. Thanks for watching. Now, please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now, get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.